Having a clear visual and what you're trying to protect in the bush is key. A 13,000 pound animal can disappear in the blink of an eye. And once it's out of sight, anything can happen. When the animal moves, so do the operators. No matter what lies ahead, they remain close to the animals they're protecting at all costs. I think the most important part about protection of endangered species is to be on the animal that you need to protect. It's probably the most difficult part. But uh, for instance, with the um, example of rhino, what we do is we put a specialized protection detail on the actual herd. So we'll put between four to eight operators on the herd, depending on the size of the herd. The detail will have apprehension canines, we'll have tracking canines inside that detail. And the guys will all be heavily armed. And what the guys will do is they'll do a nice big all-round defense around that herd of animals. When the animals move, the operators move. When the animals sleep or graze, the operators lie ambush. So that's, that's the only real method that, that I really have a lot of confidence in because the poachers are opportunistic. Sunrise and the operators are with the rhinos, ready for the day. Seven gunshots disrupt the peaceful morning. It's a worry. The rhinos are grazing at the fence line, close to where the shots were heard. They radio their position to base camp. Currently northeast uh, of, of, of E2 on the road near the eastern fence line, over. The quick reaction team gears up immediately. Rhinos at the fence line leaves them critically vulnerable. Delta Whiskey, this is Breaker Charlie. Um, can you confirm those gunshots over? Yeah, Roger, copy. I'm in the very southwest corner, but I was on three assets moving north. Be advised, we are currently cutting for spur on the road to Greengate, headed north. Over. They drive along the perimeter, but don't see anyone. The ground unit breaks concealment and rendezvous with a QRA vehicle to share information. Sounded like this side of the road, our side. Is it? Yeah, AK-47. Automatic or semi? Semi. Semi. Semi, not even enough for auto, but definitely proper. And that's right, that's 100 meters from the target. Where are the assets? Go stand them, go stand them. Go stand them. The rhinos move and the operators follow. Never knowing what could be over the next hill. The team leaders set up a listening post, alert for any more gunshots. Kyle decides on a plan moving forward. While Mystique keeps a close eye on their assets, who have now hidden themselves in thick bush. Despite the danger, animal or human, their safety is paramount. I think I'll keep moving all the way south. We'll form a stopper group north of them. We'll follow our, our unit Bravo team follows from the north and we'll head them off. Gives us good all round security. There's time for a quick drink and then it's back to following the herd. Carl heads for a clearing where he lost that eyes on the rhinos. He finds them in a thicket, not too far away. It's a great spot to stand guard, but the wind direction betrays his presence. They're edgy and definitely aware of him. He needs to change position, where he's downwind and undetectable. All of a sudden, he and Mystique notice something directly ahead. It's a lion, 
totally camouflaged in the dry grass. But years in the bush have taught these operators to be super vigilant. Carl now has a sleeping lion in front of him and the bull rhino 30 feet to his right. And he's not yet downwind of the assets. So they can smell him and Mystique. He needs to make a break for it. Without losing sight of the lion or his precious assets. It's wise to make a slow retreat and find a better position. Mystique's only too happy to obey. It's a continuous balancing act to make sure he always has a clear line of sight on the assets while keeping an eye out for other dangerous game and poachers. We get forced into, into situations to, in order to close that gap between us and the poachers, we've got we to gotta, we gotta fly through the bush and we, as we're doing that, we fly into dangerous game and dangerous animal encounters. Can't see where your support is, you know your boys are there, you've got them on audible, but you can't see the guys. The elephants um, are so very, elephants and males go and must become incredibly dangerous. That was what, 10 meters, 6 yeah. meters? When you work with dogs, the dogs smell predatory. So um, everything, man, the earland give us a go. The wildebeest give us a go. Um, the rhinos don't know they're endangered. They give us a go. And uh, it's, it's hard out there, man, it's, it's, it's hard. Very select few that are prepared to put their lives in front of that of our wildlife. And it's, it's up to the individual's ability and it's up to that will and it's up to the training that um, gives you the standard to be able to deal with what we encounter out here.